Um, let me go back, uh, Ms. Birnbaum. Um, I, I, apparently, I've gotten the correct information. The uh, the only unionized branch of MMS is the offshore inspectors. Apparently, is the, what I've been. Informed. I have to say, I'm not even sure that that is true. It may be. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, in negotiations with what workers, what offshore inspectors will be doing, as director of MMS, do you get involved in any of those negotiations? I do not. Who does that? Uh, that's done by the people who supervise them, the regional directors. Okay. Um, as the um, as the MMS is made into three new branches. Um, Will the union agreements be reconsidered, or will the entire new uh, Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement be uh, unionized? Um, the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement will likely consist of more than just the inspectors to begin with. Right, right. So I wouldn't if... anticipate that, as not all of the people who would move there are currently unionized, I would not expect it to be entirely unionized. The question of how the creation of the new bureau would affect union contracts is a matter for lawyers that has certainly not been addressed since we still have not sorted out the full division. Um, it's certainly an issue that will have to be addressed in the reorganization, but again, there's a timeline on reorganization due to the Secretary in mid-June, and that will only set out the parameters by which we could begin to address that question. Yeah. Are you getting any input in uh, suggesting what should or shouldn't be done to avoid some of the current problems with the new three entities? Um, I have supplied input to the senior representatives who are putting this plan together. I will say the that I have not been asked. The senior representatives of whom? Of the secretary. The, secretary, the assistant secretary of policy, so management, and budget. So these are the DOI's three designated representatives that are putting together the three new entities. And as director who would have seen things that were done right, things that were done wrong, you just got to make your suggestions to the three representatives. I actually think it's important that I not be one of the people who is devising the reorganization of MMS because I think it needs to be done by fresh eyes. They've interviewed not just me, but uh, virtually all of MMS's senior managers. They're going to be interviewing people in the regional offices. They're trying to collect all the information possible. And okay. I actually well, think... Well, I understand that, and I appreciate all the uh, Secretary's representatives are doing. But I can tell you what, if I had somebody I trusted that were running an agency of mine, I would daggum sure want their input on how to avoid the current problems. Well, let me ask you this, see if you have, uh, um, if you know about how this system works. But when the offshore inspectors go out uh, and, and inspect these rigs, you said they don't actually test, they just observe, but they require testing. Don't they require testing to be done in their presence? There is some testing that is done in the presence of MMS inspectors, but we require testing on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, on do a monthly basis. Do they have the authority Not to all of that require testing to be done in their presence? Yes, they do. Okay. And is there some kind of system among the offshore inspectors uh, that provides them the ability to review what other offshore inspectors have done just to make sure that someone hasn't missed something, as you, the term you use, so that someone with fresh eyes can see what other offshore inspectors have done to make sure they're doing the right things? The first thing is that, in general, MMS inspectors go out in teams of two, not alone, so that we do have more than one set of eyes looking at things. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, we do rotate inspectors. It's not always the same inspector inspe inspecting the same rig or the same platform. They always have access to the previous inspector's reports as well. So the uh, duplicity of having two offshore inspectors at the same time go out and inspect a rig um, helps provide that uh, check and balance? It's one of the things that does, yes. Okay. Then uh, did, did you think it was a good idea at what has now been revealed from the Coast Guard MMS joint investigation that the last two inspectors of this Horizon um, the Deepwater Horizon were a father and son pair. I mean, I know they're union members, but did you think that was a good idea, that father and son are working and watching each other, checking each other's back? Again, I cannot speak to anything with respect to the investigation of the Deepwater Horizon incident itself. Well, 
let's talk hypothetically. Hypothetically, would you think it's a good idea to have a father and son be the ones that are double checking and being the fresh eyes on the other inspector? I would say it gives rise to questions. Okay, thank you very much.